Welcome to 843 TV, where communities come to speak. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon, and we have a fantastic show for you today. We are in Buford at Holy Trinity Classical Christian School, and there is so much amazing stuff that's happening here. We're going to talk to their theater department and learn about their spring musical that's coming up. We're going to meet some teachers from the Latin department and some of their students, as well as the headmaster who's going to talk about their math program and some of the students who have been in some statewide math competitions. There is so so much great stuff that's happening here at Holy Trinity School. Let's take a look. Eight Four Three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak, where Spring Island comes to speak, where Hilton Head Island comes to speak, where Buford comes to speak. TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV, where communities come to speak. I'm here at the Holy Trinity School. We're joined by Elizabeth Booman, who is a second grade teacher and theater teacher as well, Millie Scarpa, and Will Suber. Welcome. Thank you for having us. <laughs> now these two might not be saying much now, but you put them on a stage and it's a different story altogether, That's right? True. So tell us a little bit about the theater program here and why it's special. Well, um, thus far all our productions have been original productions, so I either write the script from an original story or I um, adapt a story from some great work of literature. Um, and that really allows me to really be specific and really focus in on a, a moral that I think reflects our school's morals and our school's vision. So the school's been around for six years now and how many and you you had winter and spring productions how many have you done in total? Um, in total this this will be our 10th musical. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you've cranked out 10 plays. Yes. In six years. Yes. It's, now is that your background is is writing and playwriting your your background or more teaching or? Yeah I I, from, from the time I was Millie's age, I was in theater my whole life, and uh, then I went to school more for writing, um, so this allows me to do both <laughs> the things that I'm really passionate about. Absolutely. And so what's the inspiration? Let's talk a little bit about the play that's coming mm -hmm. up this year. And these are no small productions. You have somewhere around, what, 30 students in the productions? Um, sometimes we get up to 50 or 60. Oh, my word. <laughs> so there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of students involved. And, and Millie and Will, tell us a little bit about your roles in this. What, and, and tell us about the, the production a little bit. Um, well, it's all about... Well, it's a lot about it's a, it's set in um, three thousand three. It's like a long way from here. Well, a long time away from here, and it's in a post-apocalyptic thing where they actually made an environment that was safe called Diatrox. Um, I might give it to you. Now. Yeah. Um, it's basically all what Wit said, and it's about um and. Yeah, it's, it's basically all about what's, I don't really have any answers, so it's what kind of took everything that Okay, I have some more questions away. for you, though. I'll get to it. What's the inspiration behind this production? Um, well, like Wit said, it's it's kind of this dystopian universe, um, this year's play, and um, in, in, in that universe, all of life has kind of been reduced to a single purpose, a single goal, which is the gaining and maintaining of beauty, physical beauty. So, sadly, my inspiration is kind of all around us because today's society, it's just, we have this insatiable need to be beautiful and to stay beautiful for mm. as long as possible. So, I just wanted to explore that issue and kind of unpack that issue and ask myself, where did that need come from? Yeah. So, my characters have to time travel in order to find the answer to that. and. We're hoping in their journey they discover um, that there's more to life than meets the eye. Yeah, what's your favorite part about, about acting and, and 
working with Miss Booman. My favorite part about acting is when you're on stage, because when you're on stage, you just feel so happy, especially when you're backstage and you're about to go on stage, you're so nervous, but at the same time, when, when you're about to go on stage, you're like, whoa, I'm about to actually do this. My favorite part of working with Miss Booman is that she is so creative. I can't, I can't tell you how creative she actually is. And she spends like all her time writing this amazing script, and she's just a great director. Wonderful. We got a, a great agent here for you. <laughs> and Will, same question to you. What do you like most about acting and worth working with Miss Booman? Well, uh, I really like the cast because the majority of the people I work with are my friends. And it's fun just working with, you know, my friends. And my favorite part about Ms. working with Mrs. Booman is she's very patient with the whole cast, which can be like 60 That's kids. Um, and she is very creative with her playwriting, and she is very easy to work with herself. Yeah. So how many? How long is the is the production? And, and tell us a little bit. What's it? It's called. It's called the story the of a story suitcase. Of a suitcase. And yeah. how long is the play from beginning to end? It's with intermission. We're hoping it's going to be about an hour and fifteen minutes, hour and a half. So how do you learn your lines, Millie? I'll ask you first. Well, I honestly like Miss Boone has like a, a line contest, and that's how she and when that's how we memorize our lines, and um, she makes it fun that we memorize our lines. Is that right? What do you what do you find um, satisfying about it? Um, I don't actually know. I mean, you yeah, just want to do it. Yeah, it's just it's just. Yeah. For you, it's on the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you, Wit? How do you memorize your lines? Um, usually, I just take about an hour or 30 minutes uh, and then look at my lines and try to memorize them. Yeah. Do you, say them, uh, do you say them out loud a lot, or do you just read and go? Say them out loud a lot. Yeah. So when, are, when is the play going to be on this year, and how do we get tickets, and what are you most looking forward to about the production? Um, I'm looking forward to just the performances. I think an actor and a director, that's what you live for, mm. is that moment when there's an audience. Um, so we're super excited to have an audience to really, you know, perform toward. Um, and the play is um, the weekend of May 10th and 11th, and um, you can call the front office for tickets, and it's a really fun performance, so we hope to see, see you there. Absolutely. Don't miss the story of a suitcase, and thank you all so much for being with us today. We'll be right back with more 843 TV.